Sports Center 5 High School Football Frenzy. Welcome to our WCVB Channel 5 High School Football Frenzy. Before the turkey was sliced and you sat down to eat, there was football to be played all over the Commonwealth, and we're excited to bring you all the action. Let's start with a 32nd annual matchup between these two powerhouses this year. They meet again in the Super Bowl next week. Angel Salcedo gets it started at St. John's Prep in Zavera. Well, it's a tradition that goes back almost three decades. The Severian Brothers Hawks playing against the St. John's Prep Eagles on Thanksgiving. Both teams have had this game circled on their calendar since the start of this year. Now even more so because it's a preview of the Division One Super Bowl coming next week in Gillette Stadium. This game got cooking early. Here's Mike O'Connor. He punches in this run for six, but the extra point snap was bobbled. So the Hawks lead 6-0. The Eagles respond the very next drive. Quarterback Deacon Robillard keeps it down the sideline, and St. John's Prep takes the lead 7-6. Back and forth we go here. O'Connor again. This time, he breaks down the right sideline for a massive 60-yard run. This would lead to a two-point conversion that puts the Hawks ahead 14-7 going into the half. Start of the second half, here's Robillard again. This time on a quarterback read option, he ties the game at 14 for the Eagles. The Eagles score again to make it 21 to 14, and at this point, the Hawks offense really started to stall, but here's Henry Hasselbeck. Breaks two tackles, shakes another defender out of his shoes, and takes it all the way for six. The point after is Bosch, though, so the Hawks would still trail 20 to 21. So with just seconds left on the clock, the stage is set for this. Number 43, Luke Bell drills the field goal as time expires. The Severian Brothers High School beats St. John's Prep 23-21. to I don't think he has a nervous bone in his body because he does it in practice. We just go out and kick. Now, I don't know. I didn't hear his knees knocking. Maybe they were. <laughs> once, once I'm back there, I don't, don't really hear anything. Just, just wait for the ball to get snapped and just kick it. This is something that means so much to this school, this community. It means so much to their community. It's such a good rivalry. So when we knew coming in here all preparing all week, just, you know, we want to take this win and, you know, our guys did it today. Oh, we get to see him on Wednesday night in uh, Super Bowl at Gillette. So just looking forward to that one. Now, these two teams have combined for five state championships in the last decade. We'll see who has the privilege of making it six next Wednesday. In Westwood, Angel Salcedo, WCVB Sports Center 5. Angel, thank you. A Hockamock League rivalry in Foxborough in Mansfield, starting off with the score for the Hornets. Fumble recovery into the end zone by number 44, Wide Bulldog. His teammates, they celebrate. Indeed, they should. It's Thanksgiving, and Foxborough, though, would respond. Warriors driving. Mark. Marcusella is going to drop back. He's going to throw it deep, and he's going to throw it into the end zone. Touchdown catch bait. Nola Gordon. Close one. Foxborough wins it 30 to 17. We stay south of town for a rivalry featuring one town that used to be part of the other. Norwood was once South Dedham. The team squared off on Turkey Day. Tri Valley League battle at Norwood. Dedham Marauders strike first and second. It's the same combination both times. Quarterback Joseph Jeffrido hands it off to AJ Pennett. 12 0 Dedham. But the Mustangs would come back under two minutes to go. Maddie Mahoney is going to find Brian Dearborn, wide open touchdown. And Norwood wins it 15 to 12. Way down south, a Potiquin facing Old Rochester Regional. And the Lakers star running back, number 19, Brody Jolly, had a huge day. 104 yards rushing, three rushing touchdowns, one punt return for a touchdown, helping a Potiquin win it 36 28. What a fantastic day of high school football. We have so much more to come, including Winchester and Wilbur, a robbery that dates back to 1891. But before we go, we leave you with the Needham Potter Puff team celebrating a victory a day ago over Wilson.